Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Blue and we're back with another Feral video. Um, this one we're going to be talking about combinations of Legos. Um, let's say we are able to wear two Legos, three Legos in the future. What are going to be the best combinations for Feral Druid PvE and PvP content? I hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy. Peace. All right, everybody, so we are finally down to it, and we are on the Feral Druid. We're able to craft two Legos, let's say, for the future. Now, what are we going to craft? Are there any that synergize well together? What is the best combinations for single targets, for AoE, for PvP? Um, what kind of options do we have? And that's what we're going to be going over. Um, now, if you're still not aware of how Feral Druid is working, um in regards to Apex Predator and Drought of Deep Focus. Now for PvE content, I would say these are the main two top Legos as far as single target. Now, so let's talk about how they work and why some are better in such certain situations. So Drought of Deep Focus is by far the best single target consistent damage legendary. Now it does this by not changing your rotation whatsoever. Um, so it very, makes it very simple, very predictable, but increasing your rakes and rip damage by 40%. Um, so just a very stable, consistent, single target only legendary. Now on the other hand, we do have Apex Predator, which makes it your rips on your target or targets give a 4% chance to proc a random bite. Um, now bite is a huge, huge source of our damage. Um, this is a very good single target and great AOE um, target legendary, but it is extremely proc based. Um, now a lot of people are doing very good damage with this and parsing very high with this, um, but again, it is proc based, so most likely they got really good procs. Um, so now with these two, in, in the idea with these two is, hey, I want to use my strongest single target legendaries and increase that with another legendary. Now the problem that we have here <clears throat> is Drought of Deep Focus does not have anything that really synergizes well with it like Apex Predator's Craving. So if you're running Apex Predator's Craving, you can go ahead and pair that with Circle of Life and Death, which your damage over time effects deal their damage in 25% less time. So it's going to make your bleeds tick 25% faster, increasing their damage by 25% in effect, and your healing um, effects by 20, 15%, right? We don't care about the healing. So <clears throat> this is this is kind of similar idea here, except this is going to drastically uh, change your um, rotations. Now we already have a bit of changing of our rotations with Apex Predator because of the random prockiness, having to refresh Blood Talons more often. Now, so Circle of Life kind of does the same thing in Drought of Deep Focus, but it changes our rotation because, and, and the reason this is not as good single target is because if our dots are falling off more often, that means we're having to bite less, we're having to refresh rips more often. Refreshing rakes is not a big deal. Um, that's actually a good thing. Rake is a good source of damage. So having refresh those and it fall off for more often is, is, is a great thing for us. Thrash, on the other hand, that kind of sucks. Rips, on the other hand, that kind of sucks. But pairing these together with Apex Predators means you're going to be biting a huge amount more often. Um, now this is going to be helpful because if we're biting more often, that means we're actually, it's going to be negating the effects of having to rip more often because having these procs happen consistently more often means, hey, we can keep that rip up more and more and more and uh, it will fall off a little bit less. <clears throat> so I'd say together, these are probably going to our, be our best single target. Um, legendaries and then that means hey you know we're gonna have a lot more procs so we're probably going to be having to refresh blood talents more often which is completely fine because our rakes and our thrashes are falling off anyways um, so we don't really need to be like oh man I'm refreshing my thrashes and my 
my rakes when I don't really need to, but I want to for blood talents. Um, so kind of the idea with that, um, it's not going to be as bad because you're going to need to do it anyways. Um, so that's really good. These are going to be a really nice um, Legos together. Um, and it's going to be kind of freaky, you guys, because um, our bite damage in Feral, you know, depending on your item level and how well you are with your stats and whatnot, um, your bites are doing already above 50% of our overall damage. Now you may think, hey, this is going to help out our bleeds. No, not really. We're usually using, we're really only using this legendary because it, it kind of makes sense with our blood talons and it makes us bite more often. Um, so it's going to make our bites just do some ridiculous, ridiculous damage. Um, so that's kind of the combination. Now if you have cheap Drought of Deep Focus, there are some different options. If you don't, you're just like, hey, I kind of have this. I don't want to really want to waste it. You know, what kind of options are for me? Um, I mean, you can go Cat of uh, Cat Eye Curium. You know, it's just something there. I mean, it's not huge. You could probably go Apex Predators. Um, you know, these ones might be really good together for pure single targets, but you're just not going to have that synergy with Circle of Life and Death and Apex Predator. Also, the benefit for these is these are also your strongest AOE Legos by far, um, and also are your strongest single target, so it's really, really good there. Um, now let's transition to talk about PvP content. So for Feral um, and PvP, it seems like the medic is consistent of burst damage within specific windows. Um, now Feral, we don't really have a ton of verse, um, but what kind of helps with that is going Eye of Fearful Symmetry. This is pretty much the PvP Lego right now. Um, so this is say, hey, you know, let's get some CCs off. Let's plan some CCs. Maybe we got two in a row or something. Um, or hammer. We're going to hammer the target and then just try to nuke them down as quickly as possible. Um, so you go Eye of Fearful Symmetry, and this makes it so that when you Tiger's Fury and Berserk together, you essentially can bite back to back to back, you know, um, with four combo points, just two cycles of four combo points, which is really good. Get some really intense bites off. Um, so that seems to be the meta right now is to get that burst. So essentially for PvP, we want to say, hey, what kind of combinations can I do to increase my burst? Now, are there really any options for that? And unfortunately for PvP, there really isn't a lot of options that are just going to assist with our burst. Um, now, I would say the only option that we have is ban or Frenzy Band as well as I have Fearful Symmetry. Um, so like we said, it makes kind of Berserk and Tiger's Fury combination, our burst, and Frenzy's Band is going to, it says during Berserk, the, you cause the target to bleed for an additional 100% of the damage they take over 8 seconds. Um, so this is really good, so all of that burst that you're doing thanks to Eye of, Fear of Fearful Symmetry during your Berserk, is being duplicated as a bleed on the target for eight seconds, um, which is which is really good. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of our, our strongest synergy. Now, unfortunately, there isn't really any options here. Drought of Deep Focus is out because we don't really want, the way Feral kind of works is we don't have a ton of upfront bursts, like some classes, like a Fire Mage or so forth, but what's great about Feral is even though our burst isn't high, our damage is very consistent because we can spread bleeds. Um, so let's say while we're prepping for that burst windows, I can bleed targets. You know, I can kind of stress the healer out by saying, okay, this person's getting bursted, but I need to be healed. Uh, maybe somebody else needs to be healed and this target's being bursted. It, it, it gives you a little bit more pressure um, to the healer. Now, because we're doing those different, we're bleeding multiple targets, we don't really want to go drive deep focus because we're not really bleeding one target at all. Um, now we can also go possibly Circle of Life to make those bleeds happen more often and stress the heal out even more. But again, not the best because the kind of the meta is meta is about more burst. Now Cat Eye Curio is a decent option for Feral um, because with PvP there is a lot of time that you're spent not DPSing. Um, so essentially, hey, I need to CC a target. I need to LOS a target. You know, while you're doing that, you're kind of resetting your energy back to full. And the big, the big bonus of running Cat Eye Curio is a whole bunch of upfront energy to kind of assist with bursting. Um, but again, once that energy runs low, you do have an energy, 
you know, an energy region a little bit more often, but it's not very consistent. The really big um, plus to this Lego is just the burst. And by CCing a lot, LOSing a lot, um, you do regen that energy more often and you can keep on going into fights with a huge amount. Um, so that's, that's okay. Apex Predator, again, it's okay, um, but y it's inconsistent. You know, it, it does help getting those free bites, but you really want to f get those bites at a specific time, whereas Apex Predator doesn't really give you that. Um, now, our last option we're going to go with here is Oath of the Elder Druid. Like we kind of talked about Feral PvP, kind of a lot about that burst, right? Now, if you don't like Frenzy Band, another thing about Frenzy Band is the first part, uh, combo point generating abilities reduce the cooldown of Berserk. You guys, if you're on a dummy and you just go ham on the dummy until Berserk resets again, you're going to realize that, hey, just going ham on this dummy isn't even really adding uh, much of a cooldown. Um, and then, let's say PvP, you're definitely not going ham on somebody all the time, right? Uh, there are times you're not pressing into your combo points. You're trying to cyclone somebody. You're trying to CC. You're trying to run away. You're trying to survive. Um, so that first ability kind of is irrelevant to us. I just want to mention that. Um, so you might be like, hey, I'm not really getting the burst that I want from this. So instead, I might want to transition to survivability. Now that comes with Oath of the Elder Druid. It says the effects of Thick Hide, Astral Influence, Feline Swiftness, and your Sarah's Gift increase by 75%. So essentially, <clears throat> um, your affinities are going to be, the effectiveness of your affinities are going to be increased. Um, now that's really, really good um, because, hey, a lot of people are going Guardian Affinity or Resto Affinity, so you're going to take even more reduced damage. You're going to do increased amount of passive healing, um, which is very, very good. Or, and it says, when you shift into your Affinity form, you gain Heart of the Wild for 10 seconds once every one minute. Now, this becomes a huge, a huge defensive ability, um, right? So we have Heart of the Wild, which increases those abilities, those pa Affinity abilities, um, by what, 100%? <clears throat> uh, or 30%? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it's increasing these passives by an additional, you know, uh, percent, which is really great because in PvP you don't really want to go Heart of the Wild. Um, so just getting this passively when you shift into form every minute, which is pretty good. You don't really want to be doing too, too much of that. Um, so that means, hey, you go Guardian Defender, you're already taking less damage from the passive, and then you go ahead and Frenzied Regen, and you're just good, good, good. Or you're healing up a friend, you're healing up yourself, and you're just your heals are just going crazy, as well as your passive healing doing really good. Um, so this is a very good option for our survivability, and that is pretty huge in PvP, so it kind of really helps out on Feral's weakness. So instead of saying, hey, I want to get more burst, be like, hey, I think my burst is fine, maybe I'm going to be, I have Fearful Symmetry is going to be my only burst, and I'm just going to be worrying about more stressing every the healers out with consistent bleeds, and then I'm going to prevent myself from dying by going a defensive. Now we also have the option, I do want to mention this, probably not as strong as the other, but I do want to mention that we have the ability to go Natural Order's Will. Now what is this going to do for us as Feral PvP? It, it does little. Um, it says Bark Skin reduces damage by an additional 10%. Now this does happen while in cat form, okay? So if we do run that Legendary, instead of 20% reduced damage, it will be 30%. Um, now it does have an additional effect if you are in bear form. It says when it begins or ends in bear form, you gain Iron Fur and Frenzy to Regeneration. Now, of course, this would probably be paired with Guardian Affinity only. I don't think the 10% really is enough if you're running Resto Affinity, whereas you could just go um, the Oath of the Elder Druid instead. But this is an option that you may want to consider, because if you do go Guardian Affinity, you're essentially not dying, right? You, you go Guardian Affinity, then you pop your Bark Skin, and you are just healing yourself a crap ton. Um, now, unfortunately, Bark skin is kind of the way to go when you're CC'd, and when you're CC'd, you can't really pop into bear form. Um, so I think this is probably the lesser of a defensive option, but I just want to go ahead and give that out there. Uh, but that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment what you guys thinking about doing. I know a lot of people are probably, you know, already gone drought of deep focus for that really consistent single target damage, and you probably want to hold on to that. What are you guys thinking about go running with that? Um, you know, if you guys are excited with Apex and Circle of Life, you know, comment below. Uh, it's going to be nuts. I'm really excited for that. Um, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Take it easy. Peace.